morning I'm down at um, Princess Pier, which is a pretty popular spot for photographers. Um, lots of people come down here. It's really popular in the afternoons um, for sunset. We're here for sunrise, but there are so many clouds. I don't think we're going to get anything. Okay, so I'm um, just going to take a look. So this is Princess Pier. There's lots of like pylons and stuff that are left over from um, a pier that used to be here. I think it's the it's kind of famous because it was the pier where the soldiers from the Second World War left and came back to Melbourne. Um, and they've done all this work so that now it's just all these pylons everywhere. Um, it's a popular spot for long exposure photography and um, that's what I'm going to try and do. So let's have a look at my setup. So the question is always, do you take the photo right down the middle or do I go to the second exposure so I might have to put a filter in yet. Let's just see what happens. It's probably a bit dark. I've got my exposure compensation on so I might just try this. Give me a three second exposure. looks like. Yeah, not too bad. So I've got the stick stop in. So we're just going to see what happens. Um, I've got it set for a two minute exposure. It might be a bit too long but we'll just see if it works. So let's see what the photo looks like. Um, doesn't look too bad. Doesn't look like I've got the horizon behind correct straight. I never do. Um, not something I'm that bothered about. And looks like it's a good exposure. I think I can do something with that. This is kind of one of those shots that we all try and get when we come here too of these bars going down try and get them as symmetrical as possible i've never managed it i'm sure others have maybe i just don't have the eye i don't know anyway i'm doing a two minute exposure to see whether or not i can get it Time lapse here. 
um, starting to become something I'm getting really interested in again. So we're just going to see. So you can see that the sky is quite nice. It's quite interesting clouds this morning. travel overnight so you just sleep on your way there. Pretty good. So we're really looking at the clouds here. They are so beautiful. I mean, it's so easy to always put on the filters so that, that you kind of get the movement of the clouds, but sometimes the clouds are just so nice. You just want to celebrate them as they are. These are stunning. I've been taking just so many photos just handheld and just clicking away. few things this morning and sort of taken photos all along up and down so hopefully one of them will turn out okay quite a few of them actually look pretty good on the back of the camera so I'm kind of excited to get home and do, do some processing it's not something I've been that excited about to do too much but this is good it's nice to be getting back into taking photos okay um, I'm probably not going to do that much more here I might show you a bit more but I'm pretty much done. I'm getting hungry. It's the problem with early morning photography is you get hungry. So Chris and I, Chris is here with me, and we're gonna go out probably into Port Melbourne and have some breakfast. So I'll catch up with you later on at home. So I'm back home now and I thought we might have a look at all the photos I took. Um, <clears throat> I'm just going to do this so over here hopefully you can see if you're interested you can see the metadata so let's have a look at these photos. Obviously this first one is no good because it's completely out of focus. Okay so here's just one of um, the camera making sure that is um, in focus. It's not. Probably because it was a really low shutter speed. So obviously a lot of these photos will have to be um, deleted. So this is just one of um, Princess Pier. I'm sure which camera I was using the S10 for these for this first lot. <coughs> Excuse me. So um, you can see the sky is pretty much blown out. I guess it's one of the problems with this kind of photos it's 
It's an okay photo, maybe. There's just another one I took at the camera setup. I didn't take a lot of photos with this camera. I tend to use this camera more for filming. So this is just more a study of where I want to. You can see my really bad horizon line. I never get a straight horizon line. This is where just some, so once I'd sort of finished taking all my long exposures, which I kind of, I took with a different camera and they're after these photos, you'll get to see them. But there are some interesting things around there to take photos of. So this is looking more towards, I think it's Station Pier. Um, this is the building that is on the pier. Do you sort of walk past this to get to all the other bits that are at Princess Pier? Um, I'll probably delete this photo because I don't really like this bird here. This photo is probably better. I mean, the bird's still there, but it's not completely blurred out. This is kind of the back of the building. So this was taken as I was leaving Princess Pier. Um, and as I said previously, the clouds that day were quite amazing. Um, um, Chris really liked this circle of light that was kind of happening. It was one of the problems with taking photos like this is you end up, you can end up with quite blown out parts of the sky where you just can't do anything. You just end up with this white bit. Um, I usually try and get rid of that if I can. So this is just more sort of trying different things, zooming in, zooming out. Um, I have actually ended up with the um, thing here, the, I don't know what this thing's called, bar that leads to a ladder so you can go down the side of the pier. And more of this. And you can't have too many photos of the same thing. Sometimes it's quite good just to take a look, just see what works, what doesn't work. You know, slight changes in composition. It's that building again. More of those clouds. Those clouds were so good. This was the sort of, this is what you come across as you walk onto the pier. Um, it's quite interesting. The sun sort of came out a bit, so that was quite good to catch sort of a little bit of different light with those dark shadows, with those dark clouds. I mean, I love um, images where the sun is out, but the clouds, like the sky is just full of really dark storm and clouds. This is sort of the foreshore. I was taking photos of those from further back. That's it from the distance. Oh, this doesn't work the same way. Anyway. So that's it closer. I think I was going to process this photo. I'll probably get rid of this one. I have processed some of these and you have already seen a lot of them. So this is the start of the long exposures. The sky is too white in this. Um, Sort of see there. I think I put on my soft red at this stage. Um, it's a three stop soft red, 0.9. Same thing with these. Um, I think here I didn't have my ND filters in, but this one here looks like I've put in. Yeah, it's a two, yeah, it's a two minute exposure. And in the film, I was talking about, um, you would have heard earlier, I was talking about um, just the three second exposures and then here I've gone to a two which I think is a much better look. Again I've got a crooked horizon line, thank goodness in the um, Photoshop and Lightroom it's really easy to fix that. You can tell it must be a really common problem. So this is um, one of the photos that um, I took and I did process for you so you would have seen. So this is the original image as it came straight out of the camera. Um, I actually really like this image. This one not so much. <laughs> we'll probably delete that one. This was a little bit closer up. 
not so sure about this one. I haven't processed it. I might, but I think I do. I think I might crop it a bit along the bottom here. Might get rid of some of the distortion as well. I actually really like this, except for the fishing line. It's probably one of the problems with going down there is you get a lot of people who also go down there to fish. I'm not really sure I would eat the fish out of there, but there we go. So I moved a bit further back away from the fishing line and this is one of the last image. This is some of the last images I took there. Yeah, I was struggling taking photos there, even though I had my um, soft bread in, I think. And had I taken it out, I can't remember, it was a few days ago now. So it was really just about timing, trying to get, so this was two minutes. So two minutes was too long. A minute was still a bit long. No, it wasn't a minute, it was just over 90 seconds. And then 60 seconds was getting better. So whereas this was 60 seconds too, and it was too long. Um, and this was 41 seconds. So this is better. I was playing around with the, um, it's the first time I've really done this, is use the app on my phone with the bulb setting on the X-T3. Who knew you could lock the shutter open with your phone? Fantastic. I mean, I don't really like this shot because this guy here is kind of in the way and I didn't realise there was a tripod leak from another photographer, but I mean, this is better. I haven't processed this photo at all, but I know the tripod is really easy to get rid of. Um, and I thought I would try some without the filters, just to get the sky, but as you can see, I wasn't, wasn't having a lot of luck with that. This is another long exposure. I don't know why the colour changed. But anyway. And so this was sort of trying to see this and then trying to get rid of it. And then and I did process this one. So um, I've got a sensor spot, so my sensor needs cleaning. This is a three second exposure, but I'm not really sure the sky turn. I actually really like the sky in this. This was a two minute exposure. Um, and then these are the photos I took for the um, spell on the bit. So if we can, that I took for the time lapse that I then put together for you guys. And um, that's about it. So that's it for me this week. Um, I'm not sure where I'm going to go. I just got a new cord so I can use my Fujifilm camera with my Syrup Genie Mini. I have the Mini, not the Mini 2. So I can do some panning and some time lapse. So I might try going out this week and trying some time lapse with that and playing around with it. And no doubt I'll um, take you guys along with me. So I'll um, see you all next week.